this is Patriot Mom 007. I'm in the heart of Jerome, Arizona. We are just walking along the neighborhoods, checking out some great places. This is an old, maybe a, I don't know, workhouse perhaps. And then back here you can see an old hotel. It's boarded up. We can't cross the fence, but I suspect it was maybe a brothel. I think there was a lot of those out here back then in the mining days. So we're going to keep on going down the road and see what else we come upon. And I want to give a shout out to Real Maga Hulk because I got these glasses after I saw you wearing them at TPUSA at the convention center in December. So that's for you. We'll be back soon. Patriot Mom 007, Jerome, Arizona. Patriot Mom 007, we're in Jerome, Arizona. We have stopped in next to the House of Joy. There adjoined is uh, Mimi Doggett Romberger's Studio of Art. This is Mimi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thanks for talking to us today. So first we noticed when we walked in, she was actually actively working on a painting and oh, kind yeah. of finishing it up. So this is still on her easel. Um, but as we look at her art right in this corner, we have some just beautiful different mediums, some behind glass. I think some are acrylic mm -hmm. or perhaps, it, what is this? Well, right these here? are not, these two are not mine. Oh, that's, that, that, that's Mary Ellen. She's one of my friends and okay. she does a, acrylic pours. Which uh, you've oh. probably heard of. Yes, I've seen it on YouTube. That's right. And, you, and cool. so she does that. I do uh, oils. I do acrylic. I do watercolors. Uh, the watercolors are beautiful. Uh, a lot of a lot of times, uh, people come in and they'll say, "You've got so many styles," and that I think is because of my past and my and my career that I had for almost forty years. Yeah. So tell us about that because we <laughs> talked to Chuck next door uh, over at the House of Joy. Turned out it's your husband. Yep. <laughs> and he mentioned that you have done a lot of uh, interesting work in the past with um, in artistry. So what was that for you? Well, for for. Uh, Forty years, I, I worked in San Francisco, in the Bay Area, and uh, I was very lucky to be in on the very early development of video games. Wow. I got to work at Atari. In a crazy, crazy story, even how I got in there, I used to do a design um, needlepoint. Needlepoint being right, the little, little dots, pixels. And little pixels. I used yeah. to, I used to sit and paint portraits of people's dogs, cats, or whatever they wanted onto needlepoint canvas. And when I got up to San Francisco, I needed a job. Okay. And I that was when Atari was just kind of getting rolling with, with um, uh, Pac-Man and all right. this kind of thing. And there were two other, three other artists there. And I brought my needlepoint stuff in and said, I could do this. I, I, I played Paul, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, and, uh, we all they, did. I they, played Paul too. <laughs> they hired me. And uh, I learned from the ground up uh, how video games were developed back in the, uh, the early, late 70s, early 80s. That is and, awesome. And uh, I got to draw the original little um, uh, Luigi and, pa and um, Oh my goodness. It's and I was on Mario Kart. Mario, yeah, Mario. I, oh, Mario. Oh, yes, Mario. See, I didn't yeah. play Mario we Kart. Did, uh, <laughs> uh, Atari got the license from Japan for for uh, Jumpman, is oh. what it was called. And Mario was, was a very minor, minor character in any of the games there. But what uh, um, Atari did is they really elevated that. Wow. And, and then it just took off. Yeah, and I think you worked on some other things too. We saw oh, over and, there. Uh, I worked with, uh, I worked, got to beat. Uh, um, uh, ah. <laughs> the names they escape. Us. They're escaping me. Uh, Chuck Jones. Okay. Uh, from the uh, Wiley e. Coyote and and uh, Roadrunner Road series. Runner series. Yeah. And uh, I have a piece over at House of Joy of the production of how we did it back then. How we would translate a, a, a pixel, a dot into a character because we didn't have photoshops or anything like right. that so everything was was you would formulate a you know a little picture then you would translate that whole thing into numbers and a number into hexadecimal and then we would type oh, it into a black right. box so it was it was quite a learning process yes. yeah but i think amazing. i had both the right and left brain going on so well that's a good thing as <laughs> yeah. women often do and so uh, i also <laughs> saw you had a lucas piece over there with oh, the yeah. lightsaber yeah 
I worked, that? I worked at uh, Lucas on the ranch. Uh, we had, I was part of Lucas Learning, which was right across the hall from uh, uh, Lucas Arts. Okay. You know, everybody knows. So we had a compound. They were, oh yeah, they were. They had everything out yeah. there. And um, uh, ILM was across the uh, uh, the freeway. We were all in San Rafael, right there where Lucas and the right. ranch was. And Lucas Learning didn't last very long, but we did games for kids four to four mm -hmm. years old to twelve years old. Nice. And so we our games were all they had teachers and we had a curriculum part of it. It was a learning kind yeah. of games. But back then, this was again in the uh, mid '80s. Okay. I don't know if you remember Blue's Clues. I do. Yeah. It was really actually it was after my youngest son actually yeah. watched it. He's almost seventeen. So uh, okay. Then oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm it, sorry. That's my youngest son. My oldest son, who's almost twenty, he watched Blue's Clues. <laughs> and then Blue poor George's games for a four years old right out of the world. Ah, because they popular. Were, well, not so much. It was popular, but it was only $9.99 at Toys R Us. Oh. So his games were all, the games that we did, We they were full on, full on games. Right. They were going for $50. Yep. And so that kind of blew it out of the water. But George still, he, he was always, that was his favorite. He loved our little group because we were doing things that were for education. Nice. And that kind of thing. Wow, that's something uh, you don't hear about about George no, Lucas. No, that's and, really interesting. And that was a very short lived adventure of his okay. that uh, but blues clues blew them out <laughs> that's, like, that's nice of you that you got to be a part of that why don't we yes. walk around with you okay. to the gallery let's um, highlight with us some of your local artists sure. with their names and um well yeah. this is one of mine but this is this Ooh, one uh, this one actually um i painted in san francisco it was inspired by the grateful dead okay and uh, i was sick at home couldn't go to the sh couldn't go to the sh concert oh. so i painted it and it was it sort of the, the steal your face uh, skull uh, and then they had the rose and this is the fog of uh, san francisco that's beautiful all right let's go ahead and continue <laughs> and we'll walk with let's you. see here i've got lots of oh i've got lots of people here. Uh, this up here, this is Robin Anderson. He's been his and his artwork is also over here. Oh, that's and that's beautiful. him. Oh, that's actually his self portrait. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he's up at the uh, high school uh, here in Jerome. Okay. He's been here since 1960. You can go to his studio and he will give you a tour mm -hmm. of his work, his life's work. And he does uh, etchings, like the, the little Indian girl over here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that one. But, uh, and then we have, this is Jessica uh, Reese. She's one of our volunteer firefighters up here. She's also a registered nurse. Oh, wonderful. She lives right down the hill from me. She I does think everybody this. lives right down the hill. I know. Yeah, that's true. We're at the top of the hill. hill so. <laughs> but she, does, she actually, this is welded uh, uh, steel rods. Gorgeous. Uh, and her, her, uh, Significant other, he was one of our uh, master uh, framers here in town for years, and he was also our mayor for 16 years. Wow. The story doesn't get much more interesting than that. The former mayor, who's a woodworker, worker, his girlfriend is, is a metal worker who happens to also work with the fire department and yes. as a registered nurse. Yes. We love that. That's love Jessica it. Reese. And that is that's She's amazing. 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 That's, it. that's one of mine. Mm -hmm. This is one of my latest paintings. I wanted to do the town. Yeah. I wanted you to captured really, it for sure. This is a view from the old cemetery, yep. which is right down by the high school. If you go out there uh, and you look back up, this is where we are right now here. Oh. This is House of Joy, um, yes. Hall Street, uh, Main Street. Uh, this is the Grand Hotel. Then you have the clubhouse and the surgeon's house. Right. Uh, all here. So I tried to, it's a, sort of an impressed, in, in, um, uh, impressionistic view. So I kind of yeah, kept it's it beautiful. sort of. Uh, you really captured it 100%. As we were driving to... up, well, that's exactly <laughs> the picture we saw, actually, and in the front windshield. Let's see, who else do I have? This, this is our local, too, Pamela Siegel. She does a lot of really funky, fun stuff with crazy animals and that kind of thing. So, nice. yeah. And then who do we have on this side? I love this over oh, here. This Robert, this is, is it Robert Shields? Robert Shields. Love Robert. her. The metal? 
Paul Metal and Robert. Right? So we're right here. Robert Shield is all can I, I Oh yeah. I don't know if I touch, but oh yeah. These are beautiful pieces. And, and Robert's quite famous. He was uh, oh. of Shields and Yarnell. No. Yes. Of, oh my gosh. From San Francisco. Watch on as a yep. kid. Yep. Oh wow. Uh, he used to he used to be in uh, San yeah, Francisco. Yeah. Has, this is when he was 22 years old. Oh he lives up here just as the bird flies uh, at the foot of Mingus Mountain. Uh, he's he's amazing. Uh, he's been in the industry. I have uh, videos going of his of you know his TV show with yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I've got uh, prints. I get, I get and his work is great because every piece is unique. He signs the back. Oh, lovely! He, there, these are he cuts. He has the the, the metal shapes cut, and then he this paints painting. every one of them uniquely. So, just for people watching, you see this, and might want to stop up to Jerome and check out the gallery. He has work from fifty dollars oh. to three hundred dollars, and everywhere yeah. in between. Yeah. So it's not so expensive that you can't come up and uh, take prints home with you. The smaller prints are. 26? 26. 26. So there's something for everyone here. Beautiful larger pieces. The crosses are unbelievable. Um, and even this beautiful heart that's actually 3D stacked um, is only 119. So you can't beat the prices, that's for sure, with local artists. Um, Mimi, thank you so much. Thank you. It's so lovely thank to meet you. I'm so glad we stopped in here. And we tell me, is there a name to your gallery? It's called Mimi's. Mimi's oh. Open Studio and Gallery. There we go. Just so easy. This is Patriot Mom 007. You can check out my Instagram, my YouTube, my Facebook, and all the other channels. You guys know where they are. In Jerome, Arizona, this weekend for my birthday. Just want to say we will be back soon. Thanks again.